Welcome to Chernobyl. This is one of four nuclear reactors at the uh, Chernobyl power plant. And this reactor kept working until the year 2000. That is well after the accident that made the name of Chernobyl so famous. Here we're in one of the reactor halls and beneath our feet here are the fuel rods which were removed in 2000 or after 2000. The scale of the thing you begin to see by, if you look at that ladder there, these are vast halls and uh, they were there to look after the fuel rods which provided the power which have now been removed and must be disposed safely. There used to be thousands of people working at Chernobyl. Now there are at least several hundred looking after the plant and preparing disposal options for the fuel rods um, which have now been removed. You see here the normality of the remaining plants, the undamaged ones, which uh, since the 70s and until 2000 produced electricity uh, and were looked after, really I would say, I hope not patronisingly, very proudly by very skilled Soviet engineers and Ukrainians. And now we see the, the office campus, as it were, of the site, and it's a, a handsome place, a bit shabby, um, a shadow of its former self, but still hundreds of people turn up to work here, and it's right next door to the remaining undamaged reactors. And we are now going to go on, on the brief drive uh, towards the damaged unit number four, which is um, hugely problematic still because the sarcophagus that keeps it safe needs replacing or covering and uh, money is short, money is tight and the politics of the situation is extremely complicated but there is the infamous unit four.